Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer. It's time to learn that all the glitters is not gold, or even iron pyrite. I figured I'd make a witty pun there. Are you familiar with Voyager's emergency medical hologram? He's quite unique, even for an old DMH Mark I. Now he holds rank in Starfleet in his own right. We've received a message that the doctor requires assistance to deal with the medical situation on an Ocampa freighter in the Shenda system. He is currently en route in one of Voyager's shuttles. Normally I would send a medical vessel, but we have seen a spike in Vaudoir attacks, and I want to make sure he has all the resources he will need. Could you go to the Shenda system and assist the doctor? Yeah, the more I look at this thing, the more it screams I am older than the Dideridex, but just given a better paint job. This is supported mostly by a cutscene. <laughs> a cutscene in the Federation side of things. I mean, you've seen the, uh... Basically the cutscene from Terrace, where a ship shows up, and guess what it is? It's an Arkif. With the Riemann shields. You know, I'm really tempted to get my hands on those. If only to see what's so different. But for now, I'm going to stick with the boat I have. With the shields I have. Which, by the way, are Bajoran, mostly because... Well, I like having extra damage. Pleased to meet you. I scanned your service record before your arrival. You've been in quite a few battles, haven't you? Ever stop to think about the strain you're putting on your medical crew before you charge into combat? Of course you don't. No captain ever does. I have utter confidence in my medical staff, Doctor. We've been hailing this Ocompen freighter for some time, but we're not getting a response, and our sensors cannot penetrate their shields. Their initial distress signals indicated that they were suffering from paramecty measles. I can treat it easily, if I can get onto the ship. Now that your ship is here, it should be trivial to board the vessel and assess the situation. Transport me aboard your vessel, and then my shuttle can return to Voyager. Excellent. Your ship has more power. I don't think they will. On the other hand, As if I care. I'm pleased to finally meet you. It appears your presence here in the Delta Quadrant has inadvertently caused some conflict between us. I would rather avoid any more unpleasantness. Would you be willing to meet with me face to face? That is understandable. Do you have a location in mind? There are not many areas of the Delta Quadrant where my people are not reviled. Oh, what a wonderful surprise! Is there anything I can do for you? Diplomatic negotiations. I am Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta Quadrant. 
I would be more than happy to offer my services as mediator. As for the location, Dexa and most of our people are on New Talax now, but we still have the asteroid base in the Intaba system. It's mostly empty now, just a few cleanup crews, and the Kazon have been leaving it alone. It would be perfect. Well, did you find a suitable location for our meeting? Talaxians. Are there still Talaxian communities? How odd. The site is agreeable. Send my ship the coordinates and I will meet you there. I'm contacting the closest medical ship. They can investigate this further while we meet with Gaul. Imagine using a medical emergency as a trap. The Vodwar have no shame. I don't trust Gaul. He betrayed us on Vodwar Prime, he'll do it again. It's good to see you again so soon. If I might make a suggestion, I would recommend only bringing two crew members with your away team. Gaul brought four aides. You'll have the doctor and myself, and bringing more of your crew down might look like you're trying to get an advantage on him. Gaul seems very touchy. Proper protocol will be important. Are you ready to beam down? It's so good to see... Doctor, it's been 30 years! You have an age today! Yes. It's good to see you too, Neelix. We have a bit of time before we'll begin. We're giving the Vaudoir a fine Talaxian feast to help ease the tension. Doctor, you must tell me all you've been up to. Oh, Neelix, I couldn't. Not with the Vaudoir here. But I suppose it is important that you hear about my many achievements since our last meeting. And my brilliant research was able to prove conclusively. Thus I began my grand adventure into the challenge of writing Klingon Opera. Oh, well. Brax and I agreed to never mention the incident again. <laughs> well, at least not to Dexa. <laughs> Neelix, the Vardwar have finished the appetizers and are waiting for you. Oh, well, we had better get going. W we can talk more later. Not exactly the most accurate way, I might say. After all, those two didn't exactly get along very well during their tenure on Voyager. The Silver Blood incident being the most obvious. Do you remember Chef Jolax from the last time you were here? He's the one that has been serving the Vaudoir their fabulous appetizers. Full bellies make for good conversation, I always say. He told me that Gaul is a little grumpy. I'm sure you can handle them. Gold is in the command room now, waiting for us. Jolax should be back soon to take everyone's orders for the main course. I'm actually flipping a coin right now to see if I actually bother with Gaul's stupidity or just skip through the whole thing. I'm tempted to say, skip through it, because I have no love for Gaul. He's an idiot. A brainwashed idiot, at that. Ah, at last. I must say, your Talaxian friends are quite hospitable. But down to business. Our meeting is long overdue. As do I. My people are damaged, in crisis. We are already at war with the Kabali, and with you, giving your alliances support for them. Do you know why we fight the Kabali? Their world was once a Vadwa colony, one of our largest. And there is still a large cache of stasis tubes on the planet. Those are my brothers and sisters being held hostage. The Kabali are stealing them, taking their very identities and transforming them. 
Yeah, and they're refusing any help from the cooperative to unscrew their situation. We're well aware of this. We're not exactly happy about it ourselves. So you have seen my people. If they could speak, they would beg for release. This is a just war. I am trying to reunite families. How can that be wrong? There can be no peace. Not after what they've done. Are you suggesting we are weak? That we should just lay down and die for them? No, we will not. Do not try to pacify me. We will have our retribution. You have my offer. Abandon your alliance with the Kobali and support us, and we will be your strongest ally in the Quadrant. <laughs> Peace. You know nothing of what it means to be Vaudoir. You need to understand. Understand what? The fact that you're crazy? The Vaudoir have endured too much to make peace. Do you expect us to forget the destruction of our cities? The massacres of our people? The food's almost ready! What would you all like for your main course? You need to understand even the smallest fraction of our anger. <gasps> He's dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does that make you angry, Talaxian? No. It makes me sad. For Jolex. And for you. Then we are not done. <laughs> what the? Huh? Oh no. Lovely. See, I have no love for it to la I have no love for the Vaudoir, but for the Kabali, but that was just stupid. I mean, seriously. Time only to save one group? I do not envy your choice. I would go with you, but I cannot leave Neelix alone. And time is of the essence. I'm afraid you'll have to go on without us. No! I'm going. I can't sit by and let the Vaudoir kill my friends. I, I won't be a burden. I promise. I have to do this. How do we choose who to save? Save the hostages, but they may be safer here. What about the people in the storage room? survived. Doctor, you have to save them. These are my friends.
They are beyond my help now, Nero. I'm sorry. Then we can still save the others. We have to get to the shuttle in the cargo bay. Send a signal to the remaining Telaxians to join us here as soon as possible. More Vodwar on the way! Defend the shuttle! More on the way. If I weren't a hologram, I'd be worried. A large number of Vodwar are closing in. I'm afraid they may be too much for you to handle. The Terei are here to assist. After this, our debt to you is repaid. Like hell it is. That's timely. Here come the Vodwar. The Vardwar have been repelled. I would have words with you before you continue. Our help does not mean we are now allies. We are repaying a debt. Our ships are currently engaging the Vardwar fleet. It is unsafe for this shuttle to launch until they are defeated. We will return to our ships. I suggest you do the same. We will provide cover for your ship so it may drop shields to transport you. I knew this meeting was a farce. The word Vodwar means fool in ancient Talaxian. Did you know that? You thought me a fool who would swallow your insults without comment. A fool who would blunder into the trap you set with the Torey. I am not. <sighs> this has destroyed any chance of an accord between us. How disappointing. I had thought you would be a valuable ally. Now you are just another victim.
came to our aid when the Vaudoir attacked our homeworld. Now we have come to assist you. This discharges our obligation. How could they do something so horrible? We're no threat to them. We've done nothing but welcome them. And he just... He killed my friends just to make a stink. I don't understand how anyone would be so callous. I don't blame you. I agreed to let the Vaudoir come here. I put my people in danger. This is my responsibility. I just never conceived that even the Vaudoir could be so treacherous. They double-crossed us on Voyager and tried to take the ship, but slaughtering innocent people. My time on Voyager changed me. I saw the best that people could be. I forgot, or wanted to forget, how evil they could be. With your permission, I'll lead the survivors back to New Talix. Then we can return with the security force to collect the dead. I've been in contact with the USS Blackwell. They boarded the freighter in the Shenda system, but it was empty. It was all a ruse by the Vaudoir to lure us into that system. Everything was part of this play Gaul wanted to perform, from the initial distress call to his intervention and offer to negotiate. And then, he used a massacre to set his stage. That's the kind of man he is, and unless he's stopped, the entire quadrant may fall. Gaul has shown his true nature. I expected he was not dealing in good faith. But nevertheless, we had to make an attempt to find a peaceful solution to our problem with the Vaudoir. Now the war will continue. I grieve for all who have been lost, and for those who will fall before this conflict ends. A senseless, meaningless death. I'll never understand. I hope Neelix and his people will be able to find some peace, and the Gaul will answer for his crimes. And I hope our paths cross again, perhaps under better circumstances next time. With your permission, I'll return to Voyager. <sighs> Gaul's actions were unconscionable. A senseless slaughter simply to make a point? And he wanted your sympathy? It's clear from your reports that he had no intention of making peace, and that he would have twisted anything you said to meet his own agenda. He's a warmonger, one that must be stopped. Peace with the Vaudoir will not be attained through Gaul, but we'll keep looking for another way. Perhaps there's someone else out there who will be more reasonable. Maybe. Hasco Gaming, signing off. <laughs>